Okay, hello everybody and welcome to this live stream of Thursday. I don't remember the date, so I don't know. It's the 17th of 18th October, 18th I said from the kitchen. So 2017 in case you watch this video much later as a regular upload on YouTube. So tonight we're going to record again a piece of Bachelbel of the Hexacordum Apollinis. That's the bundle of six variation suites that the famous composer Pachelbel wrote and or um, published in 1699. It's a very important bundle of uh, suites of variations um, uh, for, for many reasons, but that's for, us, for another video. And I have to turn off here the sound of this uh, device if I know how that works. So you know I have a hate relationship with tablet computers. There it is. So that's what we're going to do, do today. I'm going to record the Aria Secunda from this uh, bundle of six suites. We have already done the first, I believe the third. Yes, the fourth is already online on YouTube as a video. And then the fifth has been done. So the second remains to be done. And then the famous Aria Sebaldina. By the way, the second and the Aria Sebaldina are already recorded on YouTube, but this is a recording in the framework of a CD release, or perhaps also on vinyl. And so we are recording actually analog as always, but now on full speed, so to say 15 inch a second. And that's Anya's taking care of that in the kitchen. As she is moderating the chat, so if you are already here, say hello to her and she will respond as always. So I check the chat, I see John here, Seba, so welcome. Other people will tune in. As normal, as usual with these live streams, I will shut down the chat for me because I have to focus on the music. It's not such a long piece, so we might have time at the end to chat a little bit with each other and see if you have some things that you would like to ask me or just to say, and then we can talk about that. Um, I believe within 30 minutes or 40 minutes, we should be uh, ready with this recording. And then it's up to the Aria Sebaldina, which is left, and the CD and the vinyl disc probably will have also the F minor shako. Okay, so without further ado, I take my phone here because underneath the webcam is the regular camera and then we're going to start. I should not forget to mention if you are listening this to, to this video as a regular upload or you happen to find this stream on YouTube and you're new to the channel, this channel is all about sharing and exploring the music from Bach to Beethoven and beyond as we sometimes do earlier music like we're doing now with Bachelbel and we actually also have a kind of contemporary um, a part with contemporary music written uh, by com living composers and composing early style. That's all of course to inspire you as a musician or as a listener and it's that uh, it's, that's appealing to you and this is your first time here on the channel. Love to have you subscribed. So there was my pitch for the channel and now without further ado we're going to record a very beautiful piece by Pachelbel. It's a difficult one Technically, it's, some parts are difficult, but it's difficult in a way that Pachelbel seemed to have a lot to say in this piece. And there are a lot of 16th notes, a lot of things that are going on. And to keep balance in this particular Saria Secunda is a quite challenging job. But I do my best and we see where we come up with. So, hope you like it. Hope you like the evening with Pachelbel. And there we go. Turning on the camera, which is connected to Wi-Fi. That's running. And now the other one here, I like the visual on my hands. I was practicing before the live stream, so normally we should be fine in fine. starting. Does it say it's on? Yeah, I think we can start by record with recording. Say it's on? Yeah. So immediately jump into the deep water, should be fine. Yeah? Thank you. 
Thank you. 
I'm just looking on this, the watch is not time enough for the tape for a third. Anya? Yes. Can you turn can you put on another tape? Okay. Uh, there was a call at the end. Yeah, I have to redone it. There was a car at the end, yes. Can you do it in five seconds? Five. Yeah. Yeah, I ask if it's not time enough for a third tape, but I don't. I think we just run short of tape. It's 30 minutes. We have new tape. It's 40 minutes, but that's for the Mozart. Sonatas. But I guess the second second take is fine. It's amazing sometimes how much of a difference between different takes there can be. So I guess the third take will be a waste of time. But you never know. And I need three takes in case I missed something that happened that I need to fix with a replacement out of another take. So I'm just doing that. Terrible for your fingers waiting. It's like a running very hard of cycling competition. If you stop there is a kind of process starting. But anyway. It's difficult music for the trills and the fine things and things like that. It's so precise. So that was the rewind of the first tape now. And she hasn't done it in a while, putting on a new tape. So 
all thumbs up if she succeeds in the first time and thumbs up also if she succeeds only for the second time or third time. It's not so difficult, but if you're time pressured, then things go wrong. So why recording analog? I'll make some videos about that, I think that's necessary. It's all right? But it's, it's working. Okay. Like jazz music. Okay. okay, wow. Thumbs up for Anya. That's a record. I mean, it's becoming a record, a disc, but this is a record in time. Third tip. Switch on the cameras in case we were going to use this one. And the main camera over there.
leaving for a second as always for the credit roll for the patrons. They support the channel from patreon.com. If you're not familiar with that, there is a link in the description box. Okay, now leave me in the chat which version you prefer and it's evidently between the second and the third take. I was guessing that since my focus was kind of spot on I think in the second take, I had a feeling at least, that normally then the third take is somewhat, you know, the moment has been done, everything has been said and then the third take is usually if there is a trill or is something that I want to clean a little bit. But I was very happy with the third take as well. Hmm. So that's very difficult. So if you have an idea for which take I should use, just leave it in the chat. So I'm going to take some minutes to say hello to you. And if you have something you'd like me to address now it, on this piece, I will happy, be happy to do that. So there's a little bit of delay. You know that if you type in your question, it's about 30, 40 seconds before we see it or I see it. And now the chat is coming in. 
it's of course a kind of a weird day for us to live stream normally we have the live streams on thursday uh, but that's what it is so maybe not all people are aware that we shift the day because tomorrow i'm going actually very exciting to Joris Spotfliegen, so that's the builder of the Klavikord, and he is also an excellent um, maker of, of producer of uh, amplifier, tube amplifiers, way beyond my budget, and loudspeakers, and he built, still builds loudspeakers, and he builds a fantastic, yeah, dual mono uh, amplifier tube, everything separated so also the pre-amplification we're not going to detail and so he has of course a great ear to listen and we are going to release the partitas partitas by Bach you know that on CD and vinyl and so the idea of listening to the music in his home where he is used to listen to the clavichords, to the recordings and things like that. And if he just needs to tweak some things, I mean, we're not going to do crazy things, but just a little bit, then it's the moment. And then the editing of the partitas is about finished and it can be sent off to the pressing plant, which is really, really, really exciting. And also a little bit scary because it's different than a CD <laughs> if there are 500 copies of the discs the records are the vinyl discs of the partitas. There will be four discs in the box. It's 2,000 records pressed. I mean, I won't sleep very well that week. Anyway. But thank you, Sebas, for your compliment. John said the second one was better. The third was pick up. That's okay. So that's interesting for me to read your feedback. Uh, Andy is also in the chat. Nice. Uh, I don't think birds are the only creatures that produce music without any understanding of it. I don't know what, that's probably something that's going on in the chat. Now what's understanding of Bachelbel, and then we can close this session, I want to address that. Because something, some strange reactions I had on the fourth aria, so the aria quarta, which I released on Monday on the channel, um, I got a real reaction actually from someone who contacted me privately and said, well, I like that music so much, but apparently not so many people do. Since Pachel Bell, I didn't know that has a kind of name pro of, of the uh, canon in D major and it's all about easy music and easy listening. But it's remarkable because for me, the benchmark or sorry, the way I look to Pachel Bell is if Bach or the brother of Bach, I mean, or the Bachs in general were impressed by Pachelbel. Who am I not to be impressed? So if I'm not impressed of that music, then there's something wrong with my understanding of it. And for Pachelbel, that's very much true because it seems to be easy at first. It's, it's of course, not the most complicated music in writing, but in this Aria Secunda, I could talk about two hours about the difficulties to have every and I hope I, I succeeded in that and by the way that's Anya in, in the kitchen when she starts sneezing it will be about five times I guess but anyway when you when 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 you when you want to address all kind of nuances in this music it's very difficult for me that's really I have the feeling now of, of, of having played the an, an extensive concert because it needs a lot of focus and concentration and then suddenly there is something um, fit well on the clavichord uh, I think I believe this instrument is a little bit too advanced too modern maybe but yeah I ha happen not to have uh, an earlier version of clavichord it, I think you need an unfretted instrument for this music which in that time End of 17th century, they were available in Pachelbel's area in southern Germany. So it might be something that we have to really look, look to Pachelbel as a more of an um, advanced composer who actually wrote in a style that influenced Bach really a lot. This is very cantable. This is different than the suites we have from Buxtehude. I mean, Buxtehude is, is, in his, is, is unique in his kind, of course, but it's different and it Bach combined the two styles obviously 
Okay. That's it for this. I hope you liked also the forgot imitation in the third variation, which I then in the second repeat re uh, replaced by a kind of Fila di Gamba. I think that works great. The instrumental approach of such music is what happened all the time. If you play keyboard or if you play organ, you're always an imitator of orchestral instruments, and that's something, yeah. That works great if you if you remember that it's not only the organ stops that are named after real instruments, but it is uh, it's the nature of the thing. Okay, I'm going to see if Kanya is still alive in the kitchen, and I wish you all a very very good night or day, depending on the place of this planet where you live, and hope to see you again. Most probably on Sunday with a masterclass on Beethoven, which is really exciting and looking forward to that. Molto Adagio, what does that mean? Also for me, there was an eye opener and an ear opener in that movement. Talking about metronome numbers there, of course, but certainly much more on the context and the texture of the music, which actually leads you to a kind of, it don't, doesn't leave you with a lot of options to um, play that middle section. There might be a chance, however, that I will be again in Tolombeke at Joris Potvliegis workshop because he will be interviewed by a good friend of mine and I will be photographing both of them for the booklet of the Bach Partitas. Instead of writing an article on Joris and the way he built this clavicord, I thought why not um, making an interview out of that and my friend uh, who is organist uh, will do a terrific job. That might be on Sunday evening or Tuesday evening, I don't know if it is on Sunday evening, then we replace the live stream by one week. That's it. And the week after, we're on holiday. So, have a nice time or evening and hope to see you soon again. Bye.